on CWN. Do you want to know how to make a veggie burger? And do you have a birthday coming up? I'm Kendall. And I'm Nathan. And today is Friday, April 17th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one stay under God, one and indivisible. Is there a fellow student, teacher, or administrator who has had a positive impact on your life? Then nominate them for the new Cat Kindness Award. To request a form or submit a video clip, send an email to d-r-i-v-e-r-a at kyleallen.org. Cat Kindness represents will be announced weekly on Kyle Allen TV and will earn a Cat Kindness certificate. Send in your nominations to spread positivity and recognize people for their efforts. Attention seniors, the Rotary Club of Course Christian Northwest Scholarship is now available. Visit the Cowan High School Counselor slash College and Career Center webpage for application and details. The deadline is postmarked or emailed on or before April 30th. And hope you're ready at your email inboxes for your daily giveaway. Here's Riley with today's question. Thank you, Kendall. Today's giveaway is brought to you by Southern Charm, your local home cooking restaurant now with curbside service. Today's question is, what fried chicken food chain piloted the first chicken flavor nail polish? Be the first to email us at calentv at gmail.com to win. Back to you, Nathan. Even throughout this pandemic, students find ways to show their friends love and support on their birthdays. Kayla recently turned 15 and her friends did something special. Let's check it out. <laughs> and the yearbook staff are working at home to finish your 2020 Wildcat yearbook and they hope you love it. Your books are now available for sale on their new website yearbooksforever.com. They are looking into a safe and fast way to distribute yearbooks to the students this year so look out for a big announcement. Are you looking to be more healthy during this pandemic? Well we got you covered. Here's how you can make a Thai veggie burger at home. This is the Thai style veggie burger. Now we will have the run on sports right after this quick message. We work at Great Balls of Ice. We're essential. Here at Great Balls of Ice, we are taking safety precautions. For example, gloves, hand sanitizer, and glass on our window. <laughs> hey, come to Great Balls Voice, guys. <laughs> yes, my name is Erin Krizak, and something that I've been doing during quarantine is I've been getting together on Zoom with my fellow members of the one act play we've been doing, Women of Lockerbie, and I've been having online rehearsals. Um, even though it's really uncertain right now, you know, whether we're going to have another show, whether we're going to be able to advance like we want, 
um, we're still getting together. We're, we're still having line rehearsals. We're still discussing character development and objectives. And I've really loved it because it's been a time that I can actually talk to people and socialize and also so that I don't have to let go of this play because it's a wonderful play and I really hope that we're able to do it again. We have a special video about health and safety from Morgan and Adrian. Let's take a look. No! That's illegal! <sighs> the world is not as safe as it once was. Well, actually it was never safe, but now there's the risk of sickness and disease everywhere. Thankfully, we have ways of being at home and keeping ourselves healthy, clean, and safe. Now, follow me inside my safe abode, and I'll show you how to protect yourself from the disease. Now! Okay, let's go. Now, there is no better way of keeping yourself healthy and clean than by simply washing your hands. Now, some people like to just turn on the faucet, splash a few drops on there, and call it quits. Now, I don't mean to sound alarming, but that is a one-way ticket to getting yourself infected with the disease and experiencing excruciating agony. Not to sound alarming. Now, what you gotta do is, you gotta get a good antibacterial soap that I bought at Bath & Body Works. I mean, my mother bought at Bath & Body Works. Spray some on there. You scrub for a good 20 solid seconds. No more, no less, or you will be infected. Now, let's turn on the faucet. And we wash until we feel the germs Just fade away. And now, my hands are as clean as my criminal record. Now the easiest thing to do is just stay inside and avoid going out in public. But what if your family is starving to death and they need food, wondering where things went wrong? Well, you're gonna have to leave the house at some point to get supplies. So if you're gonna go out, make sure you carry some emergency hand sanitizer for emergency cleansing. And when you get home, make sure you wash your hands immediately afterward to get rid of excess germs. And remember, other people are the enemy. So when you go out in public, make sure to avoid contact with anyone, with any strangers, or anyone outside of your home in general. That is very important. Yeah, it's going, man. Oh, you know, just surviving. And now for the most efficient piece of health and safety advice. You simply shut the door And now, let's just sit back, have a cup of tea, and wait for this whole thing to blow over. What? Hey! Dean! Get back here! I need that to survive! <laughs> now, Omna has our weather forecast. What's in store for us today, Omna? Thank you guys and good morning Wildcats. I'm Long Nazep and today's segment of Wildcat Weather is brought to you by Ogudi Designs and Events. Today we are going to be looking at a high of 80 with a low of 64. Winds are going to be in the southeast from 10 to 20 miles per hour and there is a 50% chance of rain. Thank you Omna. Right now it feels like we are in the low 70s. It's some very low winds and it is mostly cloudy outside. Well, that's it from you. Now back to you. Thank you, John, Abbott, and Henry Jordan. Y'all can see that we are currently clear at the moment. In our United States map, over there in the central states, they are seeing quite a bit of snow at the moment. Down by Florida, they're looking at a cluster of rain hovering over them. On Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we are looking at our highs in the 80s and 70s, with our lows staying in the 70s and 60s. Winds are going to be in the southeast, northwest, and east southeast from about 15 to 20 miles per hour. And on Saturday and Sunday, there is about a 40% chance of rain. And that's all from me. Now back to you guys. The winner of Wednesday's giveaway was Mrs. Cooley. Congratulations. 
And that's all we're on sports today, but now it's time for your joke of the day. So guys, what did the Echo cross the canyon? I don't know, Nathan. Why? To bounce off the other side. For all you social people out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Catalina TV for all the latest updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And as always, stay, stay classy, Catalina.